Hmm? I want to see Steve do this. Yeah, you're not going to see Steve for a minute. How dare you? Yeah, I have to go kill a boss first. Oh, hey, look, we're, we're at this bench magically. Crazy. I didn't awkwardly die the last time and have to play another two and a half hours because I did something I totally didn't do. <clears throat> yeah, so... Yeah. I, I did something stupid at the end of the last stream. I, it's not in the route. I didn't plan to do it. But there's this soul vessel up here, right? It, uh... It's a, or I should say vessel fragment. And it's just like right over here. And so I was like, hey, I, I can totally do this. And so... I, I, I walked over here. And it's, it's a jump puzzle, is what it is. The floor is spikes. The walls are spikes. And you have to pogo that thing all the way over. I, uh... I unsuccessfully attempted this. And and I paid for my... What, what, what's the term I'm looking for? Hubris? Arrogance? Whatever you want to call it. I, I died. Stop. It's not in the route. I didn't plan it. I, I just wanted to see if I could do it. And I, I learned very quickly I could not, so... I sound so sexy. Uh, did I not pick up? Oh, it's over here. Just kidding. Insert ramp pass. So I went through the entire game. Again, I'll two and a half hours of it or whatever. And, uh... I did everything the exact same. I might not have killed as many enemies, hence why I don't have as much Geo as I did before. The only thing I did differently is I have one of the maps for uh, uh, Deep Nest because I found him as I was going down. Conifer? Cor Cornifer? Conifer. Map Boy. Can't remember his name. I don't know if there's an R in it. But, uh, yeah, that's the only thing I did differently. I should have gotten all the same, like, uh, geocaches and stuff. Everything should be the exact same. But, yeah. Oops. I meant to say yes. Gosh darn it. Yeah, the only people that will actually know are the people that, you know, pay attention. Oh, I saw it. Oh, I know you saw it. I know you saw it. Like, are you sure you want to do this? I was like, yeah. And I just went for it. And I was like, I'm going to die. And and I died. Because I've never tried to do it without the uh, double jump, for, like the reassurance and whatnot. Uh, I guess we only have five notches here. This is slightly awkward. <coughs> ah. I don't even want the geo. Large amounts of geo left behind. Oh, whoop. No. Right, I just no tried to double behind. jump. That did not work <laughs> very well. <clears throat> so there, there will now be dozens of people that know that I died in a Steel Soul run. Dozens, I tell you. Dozens. Shoot. Yeah, I was trying to find out, like, which of the, uh... Which of the spells and, like, upgrades you get throughout the game that I, you know, want most. Oops, that spikes. And, uh, if I could only pick, like, one. And honestly, I can't decide between the double jump and the shade cloak. Wait, what does the shade cloak do again? It's the, uh, iframe you get. Oops. I'm gonna get for trying to take it slow. Hey, look, a simple key. 
Yeah, it's the uh, black dash that you can do that lets you go through enemy attacks. It's That's the iframe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh no. Get. Get. Oops. Get. Ow. And how awkward would it be if I died here? Not even to like the boss, just just the random enemies. I wanted the soul. That was... Yeah. You know. That's how life goes. We're actually gonna kill this one. Mostly because I want the soul. How many hits does it take to get the center of a Moloch? You know? Over, wait, whoops, let's go up. Actually, you can meander your way up there. Oh, I've died some stupid deaths in Steel Soul. I've died some very stupid deaths. All right, <clears throat> let's see how, uh, how well I do with this fight. I did the breakdown on it. I should say I recorded the videos already. So I should be amazing at this fight, is what I should be. What's up? Oops. Yeah, see that, that... Yeah, the, the uh, jump is like the one thing that gets me, like every time. Hey look, that's a boss. And people ask if spells are overpowered, and I say yes. Yes, they are. A little sloppy on the fight, but I mean, it's not too bad. Alrighty. Oh, right. I almost didn't jump there. Like, what did I just pick up? Oh yeah, the double jump. I should probably use it. If you're uh feeling spicy, you can go right into this fight. I I would not suggest it. For most people. So I'm not gonna do it. Like you totally can, doesn't cost you anything. You don't lose your uh, steel soul. You just kind of you know, feel bad about dying. Yep, that's. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah. Unfortunately, can does not always be good. Just about had too much rice. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Either that or I had too much salsa. <laughs> Ooh, Keppa, I have a question for you. This is might be dangerous. Uh, okay. What what might this question be? My question to you is: Do you have any pets? Any dogs, cats, horses, pigs? Parrots? I'm really surprised you didn't ask this sooner. Honestly. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> I'm slacking. This is like her introductory question for li nearly everybody. No, I don't have the uh, soul for it. Just kidding.
I don't even care. I'll face tank it. I want to face tank it. Oh, by the way, there's two grubs that I need named. I just kind of forgot about it. Give me their names. Alright, the first one will be... Lena and Aaron. All right, all right. One-year-old golden doodle. <gasps> golden doodle. <laughs> oh, oh, so. Wait, wait. Do you not know what a golden doodle is? Oh no, I did. I, I saw the second name and I read it. And I was like, wait, that's not an animal. And I saw it was a pet rock. <laughs> yes, that is amazing. I mean, it is an animal, let's be honest. It might not be living and breathing, but it's an animal. I, I count it. No, unfortunately, I don't have any animals at the moment. Um, I'm in the process of hopefully adopting a dog soon. I just have to work on my budget a little bit. See if I can do it. Bakusa. I think I can, but try to be, you know, for sure than, you know. Oh my gosh, my dream pet. Oh my god, let me tell you all about it. Oh my god. <laughs> Open up Pandora's box. <laughs> hey, I mean, honestly, fluffy puppies are just the best thing you could hope for, right? So, I mean, there's nothing really bad there. I used to have a Rottweiler um, a couple years ago, and I loved him. He was the best. I loved his stump. I love dogs with stumps. They're adorable. Um, but I would love to have at least like two Rottweilers because they're amazing. And anything that's big and fluffy. I wish I could have like five dogs in my apartment. But that would be amazing. But oh, trust me, she's tried to convince me many a times. I'm like. <laughs> Do you have enough money? You gotta budget it out. Horizon so, uh, keeps me on the ground. <laughs> now here she is, you know, actually trying to budget. I'm like, well, uh, okay then. <laughs> All right, did I miss anything? Got the uh, paylor. Because like I think I can, pretty sure I can do it. It's more of just like the vet bills that kind of worry me a little bit. But, yeah, I, don't know. <clears throat> I work two jobs, so I think I can do it. What's your favorite breed? Is it the, the golden doodle? I would certainly hope it's a golden doodle. Uh, wait, did I pronounce that breed wrong? Oh my god, I did, didn't I? What, what did you call it? A golden doodle? That's what I said, right? The golden doodle? Yeah, that's what she said. Okay. 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 Oh, yeah, I already that's bought the elegant key. Just kidding. I was going to be like, what the frick? This should be three out of four. Yep. I did not see that. Go back. What also like to have a couple horses again. I miss them. Alright, okay. real talk, you're probably never getting horses again. <gasps> How dare you say that? <clears throat> Unless you can, like, ride your horse down Main Street, I, I don't think you're getting a horse again. Okay, you know what? Hey, I'm just being real with you, you know? I know. Freaking dad keeps telling me, oh, you're, you're probably gonna get one again, you know? You and, you and, uh, what's his butt? I'm like, alright, dad. Stop it. <laughs> Uh, Dasha hounds? Isn't that what uh Frank has? Bears? Whatever his name is. Well, you know it's a cross. Oh. Okay. I, I I just forget what the cross is, but I think it's a Dasha hound. This sounds cute. <laughs> We're gonna go get the channeled nail. Yeah. 
Yeah, I used to have a couple horses. She's had I several had... horses. Yeah. Different points. I've had... I had four altogether. Two at different points in time. <laughs> I saw the doshes. Oh, well, this is not where I want to be. Wow. Way to go. <laughs> I mean, I just always like bigger dogs. You know, you can pick them up and throw them around and not have a fear of hurting them. You know? Actually wrestle with your own dog. Yeah, I used to uh, live in the country with my family. We had a couple acres that we... It took my it took me years to convince my parents to buy me a horse. And I finally got it. <laughs> yeah, she li she used to live in what we like to call middle of nowhere. It was a little out of the way, so she could actually own the horses. Sold. Alright. Go to the nailsmith. Ironic is I had two graces. Two One what? Grace in the first. I have two graces. Had, yeah. I had a grace and I had a grace 2.0. That's like it was your saving grace. Which one was more pain in my ass, though? Oh, well, I never knew the first one, so I'm gonna say the second one. The first one we actually rescued from, I think, one of my dad's uh, old co-workers' sisters, who, like, wasn't taking care of the horse because it wasn't hers, and she was, like, starving, it wasn't feeding it. And so my dad was like, yeah, okay, we're gonna take it. <laughs> and so she really wasn't written that much. And so it took us a while to actually, like, break her. Even then she was very, very sour. She wouldn't go anywhere without my horse. <clears throat> and my horse hated her, so okay. <sighs> so what I like to call loving relationships. Like, my first horse was so- I spoiled the crap out of her, so when you had, like, a second one come in, she'd kick her and bite her and run her off. It was so sad. Wow. No. She's like, I am the top of the food chain, bitch. Right, second gonna... Grace 2.0. I felt she was just lazy. Except when it came to food. <laughs> All I remember is that she literally wouldn't run unless the uh, mm. horse next to her was already running. Like you couldn't force her to do anything. I was like, come on, I want to beat Salamander in a race right now. I was like, mm, I'll get around to it. <laughs> Pretty accurate so description. That's true. God, yes. We're gonna go really back way. Down through like, here to King Kingdom's Edge. His dad told me, yeah, they were like starving it. My mom immediately was like, no. She put like her foot down and she told my dad, she's like, mm -mm -mm -mm. And I was like, oh shit. I come from a long line of animal lovers and you'll be here. A sad story. We're like, nope, it's mine. We're taking it. <laughs> Buckle and Horizon, I'm gonna adopt a lot of dogs. Get ready. Uh, alright, so I'm gonna be the one who has to talk sense into us, okay? <laughs> Chat. 